Hey, yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Grunch here of uh, SportsTalk365.com. Today I just want to talk about some uh, same stuff right now. Um, just want to do, do a little recap of this uh, NFL uh, top 100 list that you know recently came out. You know, I had about a one, two, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, three, four. Seven Saints made the list of the NFL top 100. I'm just kind of. I don't really agree, you know, with where they were placed at. Some of some of them, and you know, some of them I thought was too high. Some of them I thought was too low. And I mean, whatever. But uh, just give you a little background on the um, NFL Top 100. It's a list that uh, that has been done by the players, the peers. They really they vote who they believe is the top 100 players out of all of them. Um, I don't know. They don't say which players does that does the voting, but. They come up with a compiled list of the top 100 players. They discuss them on a, um, a TV show, you know, um, various interviews from different players of what this player accomplished and how much of a, a threat he is to a defense or to an offense or special teams or what have you. But, and they rank the players from 100 to, from 100 to 1. They do it pretty fast. It was, at the beginning, it was like, the top 100 players of all time. And from there, they decide to uh, break it down from year to year, starting back in like 2010. And now it's like a, a NFL top 100, 100 for every year. For every year, every season that the league has, since has since they're coming up with this idea. So I'm just gonna start off right here. I got a uh, Ryan Ramchek came at uh, 82. I thought that was a bit low. For what he for the type of player that he is, all pro tackle. Um, he's a guy that's done pretty well against some of the league's best edge rushers. And he has a resume to prove it. Against Chicago, Khalil Mack wasn't even a factor. Against um, let's see. A couple other teams, man. Uh, Indianapolis, uh, Houston. That's another team that got some good edge rushers. Houston. Seattle, with it, when they had Jadavion Clowney, I mean, the guys were nowhere to be seen. Last year against the, the Rams in that, that first matchup, Aaron Donald wasn't even a factor. Aaron Donald or Dominic so. And he's up for, um, will be up for a, a big payday coming soon. Um, they already picked up his uh, fifth, year, fifth year, year option. So he should be getting paid pretty soon. Uh, nice contract. But um, I just think he's kind of high on the list at 82, Ryan Ramchick. And at uh, 76, they got a uh, Marshawn Lattimore. That's another one, another um, great cornerback that was pretty low on this list. Um, He should be higher, you know, in my opinion. But the guy, the game against Tampa Bay, Mike Evans wasn't even on stash, wasn't even on the stash sheet. You couldn't even find Mike Evans on there. I don't think he even had any catches. Um, I mean, Lattimore does his, his does his job. Um, and you see the difference in the Saints secondary, the defense as a whole, when he's not on the field. You see it. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't, I don't stand out. They voted. They, they got this guy at seventy six. Seventy six, man. Like, to me. Lattimore is like a top, a top eight, a top ten corner in the NFL. When he's healthy, he's the best in the league. He's an all pro. He's an all pro corner. I think I believe first or second team. He made the Pro Bowl this year. And I didn't think he was gonna make the Pro Bowl, but they they, they voted him in as a starter, I believe. So um, he's I think he's kind of um low, low on the list, and he's also part of that that draft class that has Alvin Kamara in it. Ryan Ramchek, um, Trey Kwan Smith, and him, Marshawn Lattimore, and um, Marcus Williams in that, that same, that 2017 draft class that might be considered one of the best classes that Sean Payton has ever had They've, since um, 2006 that have featured uh, Roman Humpel, Marcus Coaston, Zach Street, that, that team that, that um, the crew that brought the first Super Bowl to the team. But yeah, man, Lattimore, too long, too long list. 
He's also another guy that's gonna get uh, paid pr pretty uh, some good money soon. They picked up his uh, fifth, fifth year option. And we're gonna move on to uh, 67, Demario Davis. A guy that I believe is the most underrated player on defense in the NFL right now. He's like one of my, he's in my top five. And I got him, and I had him, I have him at number five on the list. Next to a, a, a few other uh, underrated players on defense, but this guy does so much for the Saints on defense. He can play a multiple of uh, multitude of um, positions on the field when it comes to line, the linebacker, um, call out plays. Uh, he's some efficient in uh, pass protection, well, pass coverage, pass certain pass situations. He can play the run pretty good. He can get after the quarterback. Um, I don't really think um, the Mario Davis went to the Pro Bowl. Well, he didn't even get selected, selected to the Pro Bowl, but he was an All Pro. He got named to the uh, the All Pro team. And him at uh, 67, um, could have went went a little bit higher than that because uh, what he does for the Saints, man. I don't know what the the, the players that make these uh, votes of who to rank, which player where on the list. I don't know what they what they're looking at. Are you looking at stats? Are you looking at just popularity? I don't know. But I think he could have been at least in the top 40, the top 40 players instead of 67 on the list. So moving right along, we got uh, Alvin Kamara at uh, 42. Um, He was a little danged up uh, last season. He didn't have the – even though he's a little off in the, uh, when it came to running the football and receiving um, – Numbers were a little borderline, way off from the previous two seasons. I believe he had like 1,600 yards this year or last year in all-purpose yards. That's a little slightly down from um, the previous year. And that was due to some injuries um, that he uh, suffered last season. I am hearing that it was uh, pretty bad. He had a, I think he had an ankle injury, I, I believe. And then I was hearing that. He had some back problems last year as well, so that pretty much played a factor in um, it's a little downside from last year. Um, I believe 42 was a um, proper place for him, the proper uh, ranking for him, Alvin Kamara. Um, next, we got uh, Cam Jordan, 23. Listen at uh, 23 on the list, NFL Top 100. Um, another player that I think that is um, a little, that's, that's a little low. 23 is a little low for um, what Cam Jordan means to the Saints and what he accomplished last season. He could have got the sack record, you know, um, but he didn't. He got uh, 15 and a half sacks last year, career high. Um, um, sack Matt Ryan uh, numerous times last year, again, in the, um, the second game on Thanksgiving. Um, one of the best players on defense, one of the best players in the NFL on the defensive side of football. He can play the run pretty good. Um, he could you know, certain things in the past situation. In the past, he can do um, pretty well. He's pretty good at uh, swatting away passes. You know, you'll see him with um, players, um, quarterbacks step back and throw. He'll swat some passes down. He's pretty good at that. good. Got good size on him. Play the run pretty good. Um, got a good um, knack for the football. Highly intelligent player on defense. He should be in the top fifteen. Maybe in my opinion, the top 15. You know, yeah, top 15 player. Now, 23 is a little too a low for Cam Jordan. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, man. So next, we got uh, Drew Brees. They got him at uh, number 12 on the list of the NFL top 100 um, last year. Um, in previous years, he's been pretty high on that list. Um, one year, like... The last year they did it, he was like number two on the list out of a lot of great players, man. He's number two. He came in at number two on the list. He's been in, since they've been doing it, he's been like the top. Certain years, he's been like the top five, the top ten on the list. He got a 12 this year. I, don't, I think that's pretty good. That's solid for what he accomplished last year. Um, he's 40 years old. Put up some good numbers, you know, even despite getting hurt. Came back from injury and he was just lighting it up, lighting up the league. Um, you know, against the Minnesota game, you know, it looked pretty off. It was a little off, but overall, man, he still had a solid year. Only throw uh, 
like four interceptions, four or five interceptions, 27 touchdown passes, 27 and four, man. I just, that's spotless, man. I just, Drew Brees, man, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. But for that, where they put him at and what he's been through, I think 12 was a fair, was a fair ranking. And the last one on the list, he came in at number five, and that's Michael Thomas, who I believe is the best wide receiver in the National Football League. And that's not just because I'm a Saints fan and it's the, team, the Saints are the team that I follow. It's, I believe he's the best wide receiver in the game because we still haven't, I believe, we still haven't seen what Michael all of what all of what Michael Thomas can do, and with a quarterback like Drew Brees, who now late in his career has you know pretty much throw a lot of short passes, a lot of screen passes. Michael Thomas is just eating it up, and I think if another guy gets in there who has a, a better arm than Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, I think is a burner. He can catch deep passes, man. Uh, Slant routes and all this other stuff. You can line him up in the slant and the slot. Um, pretty good blocker. He um, he can do a multitude of days, man. A, a pretty uh, solid uh, red zone target. Had a big year last season. Won the NFL um, Offensive Player of the Year award. Um, broke uh, Marvin Harrison's record for most receptions in a year. Got over 1,700 yard receiving, um, back to back, um, 100 yard, 100 uh, catch seasons. I think he's had 100 catch seasons in each of uh, five of his years in the NFL. So I think he's on the right track, man, to becoming a, um, a Hall of Fame and an all time great player. So um, I think five is a, uh, it's fair. Five is fair. Um, they had uh, Patrick Mahomes number four, Aaron Donald number three. I think I think he should have flip flop and put Aaron Donald at five and put Michael Thomas at four at three. Given the situation, the Rams um, didn't even qualify for the postseason. But Aaron Donald is um, a top five player in the league in my opinion. He has and he has that much respect for. His peers of the game to put him in that position, so I'm not really all too upset about that. Number two, it was um, I think number four it was um, Patrick Mahomes. Number three, Aaron Donald. Number two it was um, that I don't remember. I think number one is um, Lamar Jackson. Number and I, I agree with that one. Lamar Jackson was the best player in the National Football League last season. But um, just gonna wrap it up right now, man. Um, that's all I got, man. I did the NFL top 100. I really don't get all too salty on this stuff. Um, I thought I think that uh, the players would have done a better job than voting on these um, rankings than the media would. But hey, sometimes things happen. Um, that's all I got for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, whatever now you feel. Uh, in the description box below. Check out uh, sportstalk365.com forward slash saints. Latest content on the uh, New Orleans Saints organization. Uh, we're talking previews and predictions, latest transactions, editorial pieces. Uh, um, that's all we got right now, man. Um, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how you feel. Have a blessed day. Peace.